my channel and today I'm going to be showing you a super easy way to draw an eye. I know this technique works because I tried it and this is how my eye turned out so I'm going to show you guys some tips and tricks. Since this is an easy video I'm just going to use a school pencil, a gel pen, and a blending stump. You can also use a marker instead of a gel pen if you don't have one and a tissue or instead or a paintbrush instead of the blending stump if you don't have the blending stump so because this is a beginner's tutorial don't try too hard if you mess up that's fine so first what you want to do is make a circle that's not it doesn't have to be a perfect circle the easiest way to do this is just to go slow at your own pace okay see it's not a perfect circle but it's all right and next what you want to do is make another circle but this time make it so that there's some space at the top where we're going to add the highlight next what you want to do is right around here make what i call like a sideways u this is going to be the corner of the eye do that again on this side over here this is going to be the, the other corner of the eye but since this one isn't as big Kind of make it pointed down, but not too much. And then kind of do something where you kind of like connect the dots. So make an arch that goes up and around here on both sides. Now that you have that done, what you're going to do is you're going to use whatever blending tool you plan on using today. And make do circular motions and blend the edges like that the white of the eye isn't actually as white as you may think it's kind of a gray color and this will make it look it has bits of gray too and this will make it look just a little more eye like if you want to say and then just erase that part and this part here so it's kind of looks like it's a little more lighter in some places and now all you're going to do is do the same thing and blend the iris, which is this big circle over here, which I'm sure you know. Leaving out one area over here, which is going to be the highlight. And now just fill in the pupil with gel pen. Now you're going to use your gel pen and draw, or your marker, or whatever you're using, and draw a rim around the iris. Okay, so... Feel free to pause the video and copy if you'd like. And now we're going to outline this part here with the black gel pen too. So now that that's done, what you want to do is go with the pencil and go along the bottom part. We don't want it quite as dark as the gel pen, which is just shadows coming from the top. And do that a little here too. And then with the blending stump, you're going to blend it go along this area as well and with the bunnings with the pencil you're gonna go along the corner of the eye over here along kind of the u shape and then you're gonna blend that all with your blending stump or tissue or paintbrush whatever you have on hand Bring a little bit of that darkness into the iris, kind of outlining the highlight. And now just go with your pencil and go over here like this and darken the iris. Then with the blending stump, you just want to blend that. So now what you're going to do is shade lightly putting pressure on the side of the pencil and using the side of the lead to blend either in back and forth motion or a circular motion just kind of see what I'm doing here
take your time with this and we're just going to outline kind of an oval here and i'll be back when i'm done so now i've shaded this and then blended it all and for this area where there's usually kind of a crease you're just going to go a little darker with the pencil like that and then kind of shade around it and then blend it and then we're going to do the eyelashes next. Eyelashes can be a bit tricky though. So for the eyelashes, you want to kind of do a stroke like that. Like, kind of like that. And then right over here, make some of them longer and some of them shorter. It helps to have a thin lead point. So yeah. I filled in the rest of the eyelashes. And so this is how it turned out. I hope this video was helpful. And... Feel free to give it a try. This is how I do my eyelashes and I find this way pretty easy. So just like kind of like that. Kind of cross them over, make them random. 